Installation and Commissioning of Leodar Lithium Battery 100 AH Finally my 100 Ampere R Leodar Lithium Battery arrived. And it's heavier than me. Ha 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 ha. We'll see what it looks like. The box contains wall-mounted socket, wall-mounted plug, expansion screw, and Leodar battery box. Battery cable. Here's the technical specs of Leodar 100AH lithium battery. First, I read the instruction manual, but I don't understand it. Ha 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 ha! Checking of SOC, or state of charge. Voltage is 52.79 volt and 52.4% SOC. Then proceed with the mounting arrangement. Install the battery breaker box. Because this battery is heavier than me. I need the help of my mother-in-law and my son. Ha 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 ha. I cut the battery cable so that I can put the circuit breaker in between of inverter and battery and serve as an isolator switch in between it. When installing the battery cable, be mindful regarding the correct polarity of the battery and port. Red cable connected to positive port of inverter terminal, then to positive side of the battery. Then install the RS485 CAN cable connection. From the inverter go into battery. Inverter BMS for 185 ECA and port. Battery CA NORS for 85 port. 
Take note for dip switch setting when using single pack battery. All dip switch must be in off position. All set. Turn on the battery switch. Press the reset button. Switch on the battery circuit breaker. Switch on the inverter. Wait for the LCD display till lights up. Off grid state and battery is 52.7%. Press the system setup. Then press battery setting menu. Select lithium battery. Adjust battery capacity to 100 AH. Then I prefer to put 50 ampere charging current and lower the discharging current to 50 ampere. Then tick activate battery. Here you can see the battery setting, shut down at 20%, low battery at 30% and restart at 50%. Now we will set the time of use. Currently battery can be used only until 80% capacity. So we will adjust it. From 1 a.m. to 5 a.m. I will adjust it to 40%. From 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. I will adjust it to 30%. Here you can see, from 1 a.m. I will use the battery until 40%. From 5 a.m. to 9 a.m., I will use it until 30% if the solar energy harvest is not enough. From 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. I the battery will be charged by solar energy until 80% if it is more than 80% capacity and the harvest is not enough. The battery will provide power to load until 80%. If you also notice, I did not take grid charge. The battery can be charged through solar power only, and not from the grid. Double check the battery setting. It's all set, now we can proceed. Switch on breaker of number 1 PV string. Switch on the isolator switch. As you can see, the system is already on. Panel is harvesting 550 plus watts of energy and charging 500 plus watts to battery at 50 to percent state of charge. Grid power is still switch off or at blackout condition. But as you can see, we can still use energy harvested from the sun. In the main screen, we can also see BMS or battery management system setting. Here's the battery voltage, battery current, battery temperature. 
state of charge, alarms, battery charge voltage, charging, and discharging current limit. It's still in off-grid state. We will now switch on circuit breaker for AC out. To provide power to home loads, wait for voltage and current protection device to stabilize. Then manually change over power from grid to solar energy. PV1 string is harvesting 500 plus watts of energy. Then charging around 390 watts to battery and home loads at 160 watts. My simple solar power setup got a thumbs up from my son. Thank you for watching. Ha 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 ha.